Nestled in the picturesque woods of Ohio County is one of the summer's best kept secrets. The day starts early here and why not? Nature's wonders await. What behavior sits on a wire and looks down? Bluebird. Peering through binoculars at 7.30 a.m. is part of the daily ritual at Junior Nature Camp, located in the countryside a few miles from Wheeling. This activity is known as bird walk. There's six pages of sparrows. Here's a common one we see. This is a place where an 11-year-old can hear and discern more than she ever thought possible. I know how to tell the difference between the birds' songs, which is neat. They always used to just blend together. This camp, sponsored by Ogilvy Institute, is a place where kids ages 10 through 15 can take pride in maintaining a bluebird box and learn from some of the region's most experienced naturalists. Baby bird's skin is very thin looking. You can actually see through it. But Camp Gisco Wico in the Tridelphia Dallas Pike area offers kids a bounty besides bird walk. Canoeing, swimming, volleyball, and mushroom hunting are also offered. So are hiking both day and night, as well as arts and crafts, music, and astronomy. There's a 60-year tradition here of respect for nature and of country. Open to all on a one- or two-week basis, around 150 kids answer the call each summer in late July and early August. Instructors include researchers and college professors. A registered nurse is on duty at all times. Three hot meals are served each day. This, too, is a chance to learn responsibility and teamwork. All the meals are good. The only thing I don't like about the meals is cleanup. And group one, which is my group, got stuck with cleanup on taco day. And oh my gosh, it was messed up. <laughs> but with all the fun and frolic you might expect from any summer camp, this one has a serious side. With these measurements and based on the bugs we find, we're gonna be able to determine how healthy this watershed is. You get a little wet and a little muddy during stream study, but who minds? Certainly not Ben Stout, a professor of biology at nearby Wheeling Jesuit University. Oh, the kids are having fun and getting dirty and, and messy, and that's really important as part of their learning experience. <laughs> but they're finding a lot of different critters. I think um, it's amazing the diversity of organisms you find in these streams, and they're they're, they're checking that out. We're heading up right now. We're going to go up and take them and look at them under the microscope and try to put a, uh, some names with those pretty faces. Junior Nature Camp gives kids a chance to be at peace with nature. A Vesper service is conducted each evening. It allows serenity and insightfulness to balance out the natural exuberance of youth. The unforgettable experience of this camp can be witnessed by the smiling faces a happy summer retreat provides. Lenny Mooney has been on the camp staff since 1976. He knows that through nature, we can foster the better part of human nature. Teaching the kids how to get along with one another and teaching kids that uh, a lot of the bad things that happen out in the world don't have to be that way. Here at camp, we teach them that uh, we can get along with one another, we can work as a group, we can cooperate, and these are all good lessons, not necessarily nature related, but these are all good lessons for, for life. A steady stream of capable counselors like Lenny is essential. Thankfully, the experience is so rewarding, many older kids are eager to return. Jay Francis is now a counselor in training. You spend so many years as a camper and you're having so much fun and the fun is the fun of learning and now it's the fun of like passing on information and it's, it's beautiful to see like there's like a twinkle in an eye, you know what I mean? Like, there's a twinkle, I guess it sounds really cliche but you can tell when a kid really understands something and it's nice to see that. We will run free with the buffalo. Many of the children will tell you the campfires that are lit each night are the memories they savor most. As the fire grows to light the night sky, it chases away any chill a midsummer night might bring. It lights the spirit as well, and everyone is free to express themselves. <laughs> Evenings like this are still fresh in the memory of camp director Jeff Ultimus. He did the very same thing at age 11 as a camper here. 
Running the show now for many years, Ultima says parents should feel good about sending their kids. The main message is that we will make sure their kids are safe when they're here, make sure that they have a good time, and make sure that they also learn a little bit about nature, make friends, lifelong friends maybe, and have basically a great time. That's what summer camp's all about. Perhaps it's the sense of family that keeps both kids and staffers returning here year after year after year. The first day at camp we get kids crying because they're homesick and then when it's time to leave camp they cry because they're camp sick. They don't want to leave their, their camp family and that sense of family is very important and it's part of what brings me back. Like I said before, it's not just the nature, it's the family. I'll be waiting.